Hey guys, Brent Campbell again. This is my fourth video featuring Ilyas Akbar and our chats, this time without his E39 M5. We pick up here after driving his E39, and now we're in my E60 M5. Here I start up the M5 from coal and make a few cracks about its lousy fuel economy. And then we jump to Ilias driving the beast for the first time, where I give him a quick overview of what he's gotten himself behind the wheel of. And then he presses the M button. I tell him about the car's insane capabilities. And to illustrate, I throw in some classic Top Gear clips with Jeremy Clarkson and Fifth Gear with Tiff Needell driving the E60 M5 back around 2005 when it was the latest and greatest from Munich. Then Strutton from M539 restorations, topping out his Project Rally E60 M5 manual 6 speed at 205 miles an hour on the Autobahn. Great stuff. From there, and admittedly a bit off topic, I tell the story of when mentor Jack insisted I drive his brand new V10 M5 minutes after exchanging valves with my wife. Finally, I show a few highlights from footage Jack and I captured years ago with his i8, Alpina B7, 90, 100, and Hellcat. And conclude by telling you what's next. <laughs> Driving is for same. special occasions. Right. Yeah, just so listen to it. Yeah. But it sounds like he's also looking back. 9.4 miles per hour. So it takes forever to warm up. Just like in yours, you got the variable tack. And it gets up to 8250. Yours is at 70. My M3 is at 8,700, I think. It's the 7750. Look how much gas I've run. And I've only driven 35 miles since I filled up. In times like these, it does drive differently. I was surprised how differently they drive, actually. Yeah. Which is part of the reason why I think it's cool that you're going to drive it. How long have you had your car? Like five years? Um, I've had it since 2016. Okay. All right, right now it is in regular mode. So this car weighs the same thing, the same as yours. It's about 4,000 pounds. Currently, it's producing 400 horsepower. It has a six-speed manual gearbox. It should be very similar to yours, but it's not, is it? It drives differently. You'll get a better sense of that in time. Like the way that it drives, it doesn't have the same feel. I think the V8 is even smoother. Really? Yeah. Where this thing really comes alive and you appreciate brilliance is you know, like 5,000 RPM and above, <laughs> which you may be scared to explore because when you do that, it's explosive. you got to have a long stretch from it <laughs> or else you're going to get in trouble. The button, oh, right. yeah. just up, next one up, yep, oh, that okay. one. You press that button and then the suspension tightens up, throttle response tightens up. After you've pushed this button, the engine is no longer producing 400 brake horsepower. It's producing 507. When you want to you know, see the difference, press the button. I'm enjoying the sound of that whale. <laughs> Yours has a rumble. This has a wail. Have you ever taken it where? To track? No, I've taken the M3, but not this one. What this car is right for is the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah. If you know what that is. You've been yeah. out in, you said Virginia, so. Like 60 to 
whenever you're going to check it out. And now I see the, the bolsters. Uh, I love that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> when you press the M button. That's another thing. Wow. It keeps you in place. Yeah. It's awesome. It's pretty clever. It actually makes sense. The first time I drove one of these is the night I got married. My mentor, Jack, had one, and I didn't know. He's he's a car guy. You know, he has, I don't know, like six to ten cars and you know, gets whatever the hot new thing is. So he's got a 911 Turbo. 9-11 Turbo S, where man, that thing's fast. He said, I got something you need to see. <laughs> After I exchanged vowels and, you know, we gave each other a big hug. So it's like, all right, yeah, let's go look. I literally just exchanged vowels. And my wife does not understand this fascination with cars. And I don't think she realized, because I didn't have a car when we met, because, you know, I've lived in Manhattan. And when she saw that I basically ditched the wedding to go drive this car, she was not happy. <laughs> But it was worth it. You know, it didn't take long. It has had the SMG, of course, because they didn't even have them in the manual yet. I just couldn't believe that the car could do what it could do. It was just, especially with the SMG, I'd never driven an SMG before or anything like it. It's just this assault of, of power. And, and like we were going around corners in a sedan, and I was like, this car should not be able to move like this. day he had an E46 M3 convertible at the time and he said well just take it for the day right. and that was one of the best days of my life and that did a little bit more than plant the seed. Quick aside I figure I should point out that when I started YouTubing Jack encouraged me to film his cars. I'll add a few quick stories and a highlight reel in after we're done talking M5s here. Now, Seeing this footage of the dash of the M5 reminded me how sad the carbon fiber trim was looking back in late March. At that point, just the new steering wheel had been installed, and then the rest of the carbon fiber was installed a month later. Given that the steering wheel is the single most asked about topic on my videos, and it doesn't really have anything to do with M5s, I figure I should devote a video to it. So, that one's next. Now, back to Jack, his cars, and a few videos I created back around 2015 about them. I did a thorough review of his i8, which I was very impressed by and proud of the video I made at the time. We got some great footage, I thought, of the car hauling ass and piping in amplified sounds from that hybrid turbo mini three-cylinder. Only has 357 horsepower, but boy does it move. I was getting ready to leave his house that day with just 10 minutes to spare. He threw me the keys to his Alpina B7, a 500 horsepower, gussied up BMW 7 Series. I barely had 10 minutes and the engine wasn't even warmed up yet. So I tucked my iPhone under the headrest, headed out in it, and got the most out of the 10 minutes I could. So we're going 50 now. I'm gonna punch it. Wow. 90. 100, 110, 120. This is a fast car. It wasn't much, but I posted it anyway. And now that video has been watched nearly 60,000 times. And seven years later, it still gets watched, which is more than all but a handful of the many videos that I spent countless hours tinkering over. Go figure. And though I never got to drive his Hellcat, I captured my daughter firing it up. Did you kill it? And then Jack sent me footage of it clobbering the freeway, supercharger wine and all. Wow. 
thanks for indulging me. As always, please subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.